Southeastern. And here we are back at Snoop Down Farm. And um, this is where we left off from last week. We almost forgot to cut out for the door, if you remember. And um, we just managed to save that in time for putting the gable end wall in. So this is where we are at the moment. So let's see how far we get this week. Um, I have been doing a little bit more thinking, as you do when you come up into your railway room, about this side. Whether I should continue the farm over onto this side and add maybe a barn and a pigsty and some other bits and pieces. But um, I'm still thinking on that. But we shall see. So in the meantime, let's get cracking. Right, so here we are, we're back at the bench. And uh, we all seem to end up here, one way or another, uh, in the video. Uh, but there you go. I'd like to spend more time doing stuff on the layout itself. But um, I do get fascinated with building buildings. So, here we are. First thing I want to do is concentrate on the doors. Uh, we already have the three doors here. We have the front door, back door, and this door here will end up on the side here. The one that we almost forgot to cut out. So, we have to make the barn door. So... When I cut out the shape for the barn door, I kept it because I'm going to need this at least two more times yet. One to create the door and the other one to create uh, an arch because obviously uh, that would have had a, a keyway arch stones uh, across there. So I've got to do that yet. So there's all these little things you got to think about when you're doing a building. So what I've done is I've drawn around the original arch as it were and uh, what we'll do now is I'll cut this out, scribe some lines on it and um, draw some hinges on it if you like, cut it in half and stick a half either side to the arch that we have. So that's what we're going to do first, focus on the doors and while the paint is drying for the doors, we can then work on the inside of the building. So that's the cunning plan for this week, to see how far we can get with detailing the inside of the building. This is what I had in mind for the barn door. Um, so yeah, it's just scribed, um, like we said earlier, and uh, the doors will be open. And I'll keep in the frame that it's on. The reason why I'm keeping the frame that it's on? Because it sits in there like that. And we have a lip on top which the ceiling will sit on which will house the LED. So now that that's done we can paint the doors and um, carry on. While the paint is drying we're going to concentrate on some of the internal details. The first thing I want to do is work out the height of the ceiling which has already been done with these pencil lines and if you can imagine there will be a door from this side going into this side so we need a set of stairs to go up from this part here up to the that height there. I don't know if we can see if I can just get you in the, there so just above that door level there, just above that door level there so we can create some stairs going up so it gives the illusion that there is an upper floor and uh, we might be able to see the stairs through these windows once it's lit up. So that's what we're going to do next, we're going to create some stairs just by cutting some um, strips of card, this is 12mm wide I'm just cutting them into 10mm little blocks and hopefully it'll, it'll give me enough stairs to reach the height that we want. So we shall see what that looks like when it's done. 
So I've now completed the stairs going up into the annex. Now, <laughs> as with Jarrah Road, I had to create the stairs on a bend like we have here. So we come up the first three steps and then go around the corner and come back up again. This is just for support for the, the whole um, set of stairs when it's sitting inside the building. So if we use our imagination, I don't know if you can see that here, if I just tilt the building, there we go, there we can see it. So the stairs will run along this wall and it'll finish just about here. So imagine there's an imaginary door going through there into here, which will then give you access to the outside door on the gable end wall. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm creating uh, a banister for these set of steps and um, this is, is the banister. So what I'll do is, this is the ceiling level. Now in most types of properties like this where you've got stairs going around the corner, you've got the banister and the banister sort of goes up through the ceiling level and then onwards. So this is what's going to happen here. But obviously we're not going to see that far up the stairs um, because it'll be virtually impossible. But um, we know they're there. So all I have to do now is just cut this away here and this away here and we keep this piece here. And I'll just create um, a banister um, using this. So that'll be a wall and a banister which will fit in there once, it, once it's glued. So it'll just slide in there. So I'll cut these pieces off, glue them on. Um, but I won't be gluing the stairs in just yet because um, I need to put all the ceiling supports in. Um, although you, we won't probably see up into the annex, and there's no LED going in there, but I'd still like to have some sort of ceiling um, in that room. And we'll just cut that last bit off there. So now this will just glue onto there like so. Well I was adding the handrail and some little bits of um, card to, to try and define the wall from the handrail and I thought hmm there may have been a little cupboard under the stairs, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm just adding uh, a framework to make out that there was a door underneath the stairs. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm just cutting a few pieces of card to give the impression There is a cupboard under the stairs. It's probably too much glue there, but... Maybe enough for what we need. Right, let's take, take some of that glue away. Just cut another piece of card to go across from there to there. Just drop that piece in there. Yeah, something like that. And the door would have been shaped to match the slope of the stairs no doubt. So as you can see I've added a 
one mil round there for the door handle and I've painted the stairs uh, with a wooden finish so that's done for now so I'll put that on one side um, the next thing we're concentrating on is the walls that go inside the garage um, do you remember last week's video where I did a measurement of the floor pan of the garage or barn um, ready for when we come to do this so I've, I've cut uh, a piece of um, Metcalf sheet. So now I'm just cutting it down further to the heights of the walls inside the barn, as it were. So I'm just trimming these off and then we can glue this inside once we've marked out for the windows. So I'm just trimming that. Um, I've gone a little bit higher up the um, gable end walls and the centre wall there just in case we see it um, but we shall see I've marked out for the window uh, which is 11 mil wide and 13 millimeters tall um, luckily we have a window still that's not glued in this is for the um, apex window that goes on top of the roof so now we can glue that into there and then we'll be able to see what it looks like inside so I've got some PVA wood glue on this section I'm just trying to squeeze that in before it starts going off hopefully the PVA wood glue gives us a little bit of time to to play and get this windows in the middle somewhere. Just trying to get that where it should be. I use a rule to push the card into the corners. Okay, so that's kind of gone in okay. And uh, well, that's what it looks like now inside. I've just got to trim all that piece of card back there. I have now added all the doors. So there you can see the barn doors are in place. So I just get the camera in around there. There you go. I just need to paint the, the black hinges on there. And uh, the back doors in. The, uh, the upper door, which I need to uh, lighten up a little bit. And then we have the front door. So that's all the doors in. Um, does the tractor still fit? That's, that's a good question. Oh yeah, tractor still fits. So, next thing is, I've got to fit the LED to the barn. So I'll just glue a little bit of card in there, a little bit of card in there. Put a bridging piece across with the 3mm hole in. And drill a hole through here and through this piece as well. So yeah, it's taking shape. What you're about to witness is me fitting probably the smallest window I've ever fitted here at the North Eastern into a double O gauge building. Now it measures 3.5 across and 12.5 in height. So I've already put a little bit of glue top and bottom so I'm just hoping that this will just drop in there using a pair of tweezers to try and just hopefully push that in I don't believe it's gone in 
So just make sure that that's gone home before I add any more glue. Yep. There you go, another successful operation. Mind you, it just took me a couple of attempts. But <laughs> yeah. It's never as easy as it looks. Trust me. Alright, just a little bit of glue top and bottom. Just to hold it in place. These are the LEDs that I'm going to use for the fire. Um, they're orange LED FC3 from Bright Components. Now, if we do a little test on this battery here, we can see that these orange LEDs absolutely flickers already. So I just hold it on there. Now, if you can see, I don't know. It's flickering already. See that? So the idea is I'm going to cut out a fire hearth and then drill a couple of holes for this LED to go through the card and then super glue this LED to the card. And then that becomes the fire. Then I can build the surround around it. So let's see how I get on. So here is the fire hearth. As you can see, you can see two little tiny holes in there. That's 0.8 in diameter, 4 millimeters apart. Now that's for the LED. So what I'll do is I'll drop a little tiny bit of super glue over them holes and then drop the LED through those holes. And then that should hold that in place. Right, I'll just wipe off the excess glue. Well, I'll just smear it around. It's got to be painted yet. So I've got approximately a millimeter at the back there. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll stick a millimetre piece of card down the back there to form uh, the, the wall which will hide the slot that I've already put into the wall for the cables which will run up um, for the other LEDs in the other rooms. So we'll just give that a little bit of time to dry and then we shall test it again with a battery just to make sure it's still working. So this is what I had in mind for the fireplace, uh, sort of a stone built fireplace. So I've used a little bit of card and plastic card to create this fireplace. As you can see, I've uh, mixed a couple of colours together to get this grey um, yellow look, as you can see. Oh yeah, it's been built around the LED. Now the LED itself is a three millimeter LED. I thought I'd uh, mention the fact of the LED. So I'm just painting it up now. And uh, yeah, it's quite a chunky looking fireplace. But uh, fireplaces come in all various sizes. I mean, you just got to look at the ones in the stately homes and places like that. So yeah, I think this will uh, look quite cosy when it's all done. So what I have here is a little clock to go onto the mantel mantelpiece, um, and I've used a piece, a tiny piece of um, two mil card, and I've just stuck. A clock face on it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to paint that a light brown and then super glue that to the mantelpiece. I have just placed the clock onto the mantelpiece and it's, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So that now is ready to be glued 
into the farmhouse. But before we glue it into the farmhouse we just have to do one quick check just to make sure that the LED is still working. And uh, yeah, it's still working. You see it's just still flickering away nicely. So, so far we have fitted the two LEDs, one here over the garage and one here for the fireplace and we've also fitted the stairs leading up to the annex. Um, so the next thing you want to do is concentrate on putting all the supports in around this um, room if you like it's ready for the ceiling to drop. I like using 2mm card for the supports so it's 3mm by 2mm so a couple of strips to the whole room so I'll just cut them and then glue them in situ those 3 by 2 strips that I cut I had painted them um, a gloss black and left them overnight and uh, now I am cutting them up and fitting them um, to support the ceiling. Now if you probably noticed, it looks like uh, while I was away, Derek, the decorator, has decorated the room. Um, as you can see, with the uh, wallpaper on the bottom and the yellow walls. So yeah, it's, it's coming along. So I've painted these black because I'm going to create black beams on the ceiling. So I'll just fit this one in there like so. Just push it up to the pencil line. Yeah, so the ceiling's going to have some black beams running across the, the length of the room. So yeah, and this slot here of course is where the cables are going to run up through for the other LEDs. So that's that little section done there. So that's that little room done. So that's waiting for a ceiling but before I put the ceiling in we've got some doors to make and some furniture. But um, I think that's going to be for another video, I think. Yeah. Here we are, back on the layout. And we've come a long way this week. We've glazed the windows, we've added all the doors, except the internal doors. We've made the barn door. And we've added two LEDs. One for inside the barn there, and the main one inside the fireplace and uh, yes it's, it's looking okay uh, I'm not too sure about the decor but there you go I think yellow was in back in the 60s but there you go so we've still got a couple of doors left to do Ooh, oh yeah and we've uh, made some stairs going up into the annex now if you can imagine if the if you turned uh, left there, you, you could, could probably go into the room that's above the main lounge. But um, maybe that's something to think about uh, next time. So, we've come a long way. It's slow progress, but progress is progress. And uh, I'm sure Vera wouldn't mind um, moving in. Well... Her jeep's there, so she must be around somewhere. Anyway, that's enough from me this week. See you again next week. Hopefully we'll get this farm building a little bit further on. So until then, have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye for now. Bye.